An impressive anonymous cash donation came into the Denver Police Department. And in the spirit of the season, officers are paying it forward to Coloradans who need help the most. Our Tori Mason was at the Samaritan House today for the big surprise. So, Tori, how did this get started? Well, you know, Jim, DPD has gotten anonymous donations before, but he told them this one was different. This guy ran off before they could even get his name, but he told them he wanted it to go to people in need. He dropped him off quickly and ran out of the station. Santa doesn't usually run from police, but this time he did. I want to give these Secret Santa envelopes to some very needy families. So would you please give it to him? So DPD worked with the Samaritan House to help find families who needed some Christmas cheer. Thank you, you very much. Merry Christmas. Merry okay. Christmas. Thank you for everything. Kaylee's family was one of five they were able to disperse Santa's donation to this Christmas. <laughs> one, two, three. It was a short countdown for something they needed long before the holiday. We were gifted $100 from a secret Santa, and it was a wonderful gift. Kaylee is a young mother with three little boys. They found shelter at the Samaritan house after her husband got sick. My husband, um, three years ago, was diagnosed with sarcoma cancer. He lost his job. Then they lost their car and their home. Soon they lost everything. It's hard to explain it all when you really don't know what words to say to a child. Their reaction after opening the envelopes assured DPD this was the right place to take Secret Santa's gift. To look on their face, something they were not expecting today, on this day, Christmas Eve, I think really, really shocked them and really overwhelmed them with some joy. They're thankful someone thinks of those who don't even have a tree. It's definitely, it just shows who's still good in the world, you know, and all the great people that there are, you know, that still do good things for people that are in need. Now, families like the one you just met account for many well, account for much of the homeless population here in the Denver area. For more information on how to help, visit cbsdenver.com. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason, covering Colorado First. Very nice.